Guys, for today's video, I am watching a Disney movie from 2009. So for today's video, I am watching the 2009 Disney film Up. I know there's a really cranky old man and I think and there's a kid there's a boy scout and I'm pretty sure the movie is this old man and he had like this wonderful wife um and now he's all alone and he's bitter and he's unhappy and this boy scout comes out of nowhere with a bunch of balloons and I guess he just he just attaches like a bunch of balloons to this old man's house and the, the house flies away <laughs> That's all I, I know about the movie or think I know. Um, I know there's a really heartbreaking scene between like the man and the woman. So that's everything that I know about this movie. I feel like I have to be wrong about him being angry. Like I can't, I don't think he lost his house. So I, I feel like I'm wrong about that, but we're going to see if you're interested in supporting the channel and want to watch every second of this movie along with me be sure to check out my patreon i'll be linking the, that down below in the description but without further ado let's get into up a lost world in south america undiscovered by science who would dare set foot on this inhospitable is this not the opening of paddington charles Muntz, and here comes the adventure now and mechanical canine walker adventure is out there Aww. He idolizes him. A monster of Paradise Falls. The National Explorer Society accuses Mutz of fabricating the skeleton. <gasps> oh no, he's yelling at the, the screen. Humiliated, Mutz Bowser returned to Paradise Falls. I promised to capture the beast alive. But it's... It's probably extinct! Oh, he's so not coming back. It's probably like an Amelia Earhart situation. Bye bye and then never see again. <laughs> his little chumps, his little hops. <laughs> Is there nothing he cannot do? You can't just sneak into an abandoned house. I'd be so scared. But I guess they sound friendly. Also, a month's fan. Ha! Oh, that scared me. Only explorers get in here. Do you think you got what it takes? Yes. You didn't even let him answer. Oh, nice. He didn't have to say anything. We're in a club now. I saw where your balloon went. Kids? My name's Ellie. Kids make um, friends so easily. It's so cute. Well, go ahead. I was like, did she just witness his death? He just broke his leg, probably. Or his arm. Nice. Wow, she really trusted the wind there. Take it! How did she get up to the second floor? She's the exact opposite of him. My adventure book. You know him. I'm going where he's going. Paradise Falls. A land lost in time. She lives life on the edge. I like her. I'm saving these pages for all the adventures I'm gonna have. I just don't know how I'm gonna get to Paradise Falls. Don't say balloons. Or blimp. You can take us there in a blimp. You can take us there. <laughs> talk very much i like you <laughs> oh i guess he's on the first floor not the second they got me okay. oh that's okay that's the that's the old man i think oh they're like in their oh, they just came from the wedding and they made their whole house and everything they got married that's so cute what the heck you guys know, like, the three things that make me cry are, like, love, old people, and death. So, stop. Oh, they're, like, childhood sweethearts. Oh, I already need a tissue. It's, like, five minutes into the movie. That's cute. Oh, they're gonna have a baby. I feel like he, the, cro the idea has never crossed his mind. Like, it was just an epiphany in that moment. He's like, oh, yeah, let's do that. She can't have children. I think that's what that meant. Instead, they're going to focus on going on an adventure. They're going to complete their adventure together. And that's going to be their lifelong goal. Did he not? I don't know if he talked this whole time. Oh, there he is. I, he moved his mouth. He had to say a word. Oh. Oof. Looks like over the years, they were just never able to complete their adventure because things took money, huh? <laughs> 
Look at them! Oh, he booked the tickets. Nice. They finally... He's gonna surprise her! Her health started failing. Oh. Oh, she died. What a messed up movie. It's like 10 minutes in. It's a good backstory. But I guess it's, this whole movie is just about how he is every day. Dude, this is so sad. They can't just gut punch me in the first 15 minutes. Oh, he cracked something. I heard it. Oh, it's whole body. Oh, he has the stair climber. At least he's being careful. He must really hate the outside world, huh? This entire movie just gut punched me within the first 10 minutes. Oh, he's not gonna sell his house. Quite a sight, huh, Ellie? Yeah. <laughs> Shady Oaks retirement. Oh, I wonder what they're insinuating, huh? Tell your boss over there that you boys are ruining our house. My boss would be happy to take this old place off your hands. Here, let me talk to him. Take a bath, hippie! Take a bath, hippie? I love that. Tell your boss he can have our house when I'm dead. Mate, no, don't promise that. You're gonna assassinate him! Are they gonna try and move the house because <laughs> because the boss ordered an assassination on him? SD card. Good afternoon. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. I could help you cross the street. <laughs> He's in his house. <laughs> Good afternoon. Are you in need of Thank any you, but I don't need today? any help. Oh, he stopped the door. Oh, that's a gutsy move. You may notice one is missing. It's my assisting the elderly badge. So you want to assist an old person? Yep. He's so positive. I love that. Every night it sneaks in my yard and gobbles my poor Azaleas. I think it's Burroughs two blocks down. Stop! Stop! <gasps> oh! What do you think you're doing? I am so sorry, sir. Sir, I, I don't want you to touch him! <gasps> oh, oh, he assaulted him. He assaulted him. Oh, he's bleeding. And now he looks like a monster. He's like, I'm gonna sue you. I don't even have to get you assassinated. Oh, I hate him. Why does he give me um alien vibes? What a dirtbag. If an old person like rips a mailbox out of my arms because I'm like aggressively pushing help on them and then like they hit, they hit me with their cane. First of all, I wouldn't do that. Guys from Shady Oaks will be by to pick you up in the morning. It's all gonna be taken away from him because because people like to sue <laughs> because they were touching his property. Good morning, Mr. Fredrickson. I'll meet you at the van in just a minute. Sure. Probably going to the bathroom for the 80th time. What? Oh, he thought of it. The kid didn't bring the blue. That makes sense. He was a balloon man in the beginning. At the zoo. That's pretty cool. That's a lot. Where did he get? Isn't there a helium shortage? I'm like a thousand percent sure that there's a helium shortage. How strong is this chimney? Like, I'm just saying. This is the funniest stunt ever. Imagine someone in real life doing this and then the house like hits a bunch of buildings and then it, the balloons pop and they just have to go back down slowly. And then he gets taken to the old folks home anyway. Oh my gosh. We're on our way, Ellie. Old people in love make me cry. So the three things that I said make me cry the most Occurred within the first 10 minutes of the movie. Sucks. Ugh. There's something so serene about it. How is he relaxed? Ah! So that's why Hi, he's here. It's me, Russell. I found the snipe and I followed it under your porch. It took him this long to say that he was here? No. What? What do you mean, no? What if the child falls to its death? Oh, okay, good. You can come. He was brave for being out there for so long. Paradise Falls, a land lost in time. Does it really work? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. so close I could almost touch it. 
he's like, this is not what I wanted to do. Is he drunk? This is so dangerous! You should not have had children! <laughs> Good! But like, look what you're- oh, He just killed- Well, that's not gonna work. You cannot avoid it. Oh, the door's wide open. The door's closed now. Sir, did you not check the weather? Oh, he messed with the direction, though. I think he's about to just lose the entire house. How did they survive? I thought you were dead. Uh, uh. You took a nap, so I went ahead and steered us down here. He took a nap? He's like in the middle of the story. He's like, ah, I'll deal with it later. After the nap. Over in South America, all right, it was a cinch. With my Wilderness Explorer GPS. GP what? It shows exactly where we are in the- His parents are probably freaking out right now. Never be lost. Oh my god, Russell! How much longer? Well, we're up pretty high. Could take hours. To <gasps> uh, oh, Oof. rock formation. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <gasps> uh, did, no, no, the house, the house, the house, the house. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god. They both have like grips of iron. What the fudge? Oh. Paradise Falls then. She would have loved this. We made it. Russell, we can float right over there. You mean assist you? Yeah, yeah. You mean assist you? Go ahead and hoist me up. You on the porch yet? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is this is really bad. Oh, he just sat on his head. We could walk it right over there. Like a parade balloon. We have three days at best before In three the helium leaks out of those balloons. The bird. It's too f it's literal roadrunner. Doverman's? Cutie, hello, Roddy, Rottweiler, Bulldog. Look at them. Chicken, what are you gonna do? You can't run up walls. Oh, I guess they can. Oh, no way back to it. That's kind of a That's a dope bird. And it's rainbow. Please don't kill it. Darn thing. My elbow hurts and I have to go to the bathroom. His face is gonna hurt so okay, much from yeah, that. Hold myself. <laughs> Deal with it. Tracks? Snipe. Ha! Huh. Don't be afraid, little snipe. Little. Snipe. He's a big guy. We have I tamed it. Snipe. Hey! Ah, there's no such thing as a snipe. We've tamed a creature. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, he loves him! That's so cute! It likes me. Kevin! <sighs> you got. Okay. Kevin? Mr. Fredrickson is nice. You named it Kevin? That's fine. <coughs> shoo, shoo, get out of here. <laughs> We're keeping Kevin. Get down. <gasps> You're not allowed up there. Uh, hey, Ellie. Could I keep the bird? Ellie would have said yes. Absolutely. Ellie would have said yes. He said for you to let me. N O. <sighs> I see you back there. <laughs> hey, are you okay over there? I can smell you. Look at that one. This is kind of trippy. Like <gasps> that is. <gasps> That's their dog. I thought he's. I forgot that there was this dog. Speak. Hi there. <gasps> I have just met you, and I love you. What do these do, boy? Hey, would you Why was it in a southern accent? <laughs> Have you seen a bird? I'm a great tracker. Did I mention that? May I take your bird back to camp as my prisoner? He's so friendly. I, I, this is how I genuinely imagine all dogs to be. Chocolate. I smell chocolate. I'm getting pruned. We better tell him someone took the bird, right, Alpha? No. Soon enough, the bird will be ours yet again. Why does he have that voice? Come in, Doc. Hi, Alpha. Be 
bird is my prisoner now. This is this is not how I felt like I thought this movie was gonna go in at all. Like I just knew about the balloons and the boy and and a dog and there's like so much else going on. I don't even know where to begin. Uh oh. Clearly, their master takes care of the dog. Wait, what if the master is the guy from the beginning of the movie? It was his idol. Oh my gosh, what was his name again? It wasn't Kurt. It was like something else. What if the, their master is that guy, but like his descendant? Because there's no way that man is like 200 years old. Okay. I mean, he's he's good with tech, so maybe he's a cyborg now. They, they both, you're stuck with both of them. Thanks for keeping us dry anyway, Ellie. That's for you. That's for you, that's so, oh. Can I tell you a secret? No. All right. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I never actually built a tent before. Why didn't you ask your dad how to build a tent? Phyllis told me I bug him too much. Phyllis. Oh. Nanny or stepmom? feels bad for him. He doesn't really have a father figure. Oh. Kevin, go with us. Promise you won't leave him. Cross your heart. What have I got myself into, Ellie? <laughs> Ellie would be so impressed by him. That's the funny part, is that she would be proud of him. Because he had always this very shy, meek character. And she brought out the adventure and excitement in him. And for him to be on this adventure all by himself, you know she'd be like looking down from heaven, like smiling at him. Oh, the helium. Where's Kevin? He's wandered off. Find the bird. Oh, look, there he is. Point. Is he gonna bring more birds over? The bird is calling to her baby. Her? Kevin's a girl? She has been gathering food for her babies and must get back to them. Oh, Kevin. She sang bye. We I, I knew I had a good feeling about Kevin. Love Kevin. This was her favorite chocolate. There's more for you. And he's just like, my name is Alpha. He's really annoying. Where's the bird? I can see how you would think that. Lost it. Master will be most pleased we have found them. It will ask of them many questions. Well, maybe the master has like a bunch of technology. Maybe they just have like an abundance of balloons. Kevin's back. I don't have a good feeling about this. There is no way this man is still alive. You're not after my bird, are you? <laughs> How are you still alive? Are you Charles Munts? Munts, that's what it was. Adventures out there. <laughs> it's really huge. My wife and I, we were your biggest fans. He is what inspired their marriage. I had them bond for the first time. They are our guests. Aww. We're not actually going inside the spirit of adventure itself. Ellie would have loved this. <laughs> He's so giddy. It's the first time we've seen him so happy since being with Ellie. Not you. Put him in the cone of shame. He has lost the bird. Doug deserves better. Do not like the cone of shame. Of course, I kept the best for myself. <laughs> Did you ever? <laughs> That's an interesting story there. Excellent choice. Wow, they're really... He trained them really well. Why He's got his dog friends. Oh, the... he just drops it. Did he cheat? Dinner is ready. Oh, dear. Broken translator. He's like a crazy deep voice. Yeah, that's so scary. It's like a demonic voice. Epsilon is the finest chef I've ever had. Epsilon? Oh, that's pretty cool. Hot dog. And milk? Hey! I'd hate to impose. No, no, it's a pleasure to have guests. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I've spent a lifetime tracking it. Did you try chocolate bar? Lost so many dogs. Hey, that looks like Kevin. That's my new giant bird pet. I trained it to follow us. Oh, this is bad. I think he's slowly becoming the enemy. She likes chocolate. But it ran off. It's gone now. He's trying to protect Kevin, even against his, like, hero. A surveyor making a map. 
an old man taking his house to Paradise Falls. Well, that's the best one yet. I can't wait to hear how it ends. He's like 20 years older than you. You can take him, old man fight. <laughs> now. Get them. An old man and a child with a massive house on their back. They're not gonna outrun a pack of like hunting dogs. Oh, Kevin. Kevin's like, I'll, I'll take things into my own hands. My own feathers, I don't know. Oh, we're losing so many, this is bad. Oh, what if we land? That would be the worst. Like a really bad interaction the first, with your neighbor. Nice, landslide. Oh. Doug, thank you! New master! Oh, he's such a jerk. <gasps> yeah, Alpha sucks! In this movie alone, this kid has died- has almost died, like, on eight separate occasions, and it's just growing. Look at all these. The fact that he's not hitting the rocks is a miracle. She's so good. And Doug. Bye. <gasps> Why did the dogs Wilhelm scream? <laughs> you can't put a comedic comedic effect on a bunch of dogs falling off a cliff. Can't we help her get home? But we gotta hurry. You lost them? No, it was Doug. Yeah. Doug. Finally meet my childhood hero and he's trying to kill us. Yeah. What a joke. I know a joke. Never meet your heroes. I forgot to store acorns for winter and now I am dead. It is funny because the squirrel gets dead. Do dogs actually kill? I know they like to chase squirrels. I don't think they wanted to kill them. My dad made it sound so easy. He used to come to all my sweat lodge meetings. And afterwards, we'd go get ice cream at Fenton's. Look, oh, there it is! <laughs> okay, so, so they led him to the babies, and Muntz is gonna steal a bunch of babies, and then try to ship them back to the U.S. so he's not, like, humiliated when he comes back. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like an alien spaceship, the way it does that. Oh, Kevin! Kevin's probably like, I wish I never met these people! <gasps> what an evil individual! You want her in good shape for my return? For your return. I'm gonna ma- I will personally see to it you never return. Munz is a disgusting person. I could have sympathized with him. I could have understood him. Now I can't. Man's just evil. You just gave her away. I didn't ask for any of this. It's all right. And if you hadn't have shown up, none of this would have happened. Bad dog! I am going to Paradise Falls if it kills me. I like that the colors match the tone and like the mood of the scene. That's really cool. It's really nice. <gasps> right where she wanted it. I don't want this anymore. You're not gonna comfort him? He fulfilled Ellie's dream, the dream they had together, but at what cost? Now what? What's next? What about running water? I mean, I get it, you have a river, but still. Did she start filling the book? She started scrapbooking them together. Thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. Oh. <laughs> she was so pure hearted, dude. Now it is time for him to have his own adventure. Oh, Russell, you did not just steal a bunch of balloons. You just had to have a little sentimental moment. He was gonna go have help Kevin. This old man has so much energy. He has more energy than me. It's like he let go of Ellie and what was kind of holding him down with the depression and stuff. No. Dog. 
Right here, my dog. I was. You are my master. I was hiding under your porch because I love you. <laughs> what a line! I love that. I just gotta say, this kid is is fearless. So how do we save Kevin? We are mid-flight. We are mid-flight in a giant blimp. What do we do? Fredrickson can't be far behind. I'm not finished with you. Nice talking with you. Is he gonna kill a ch- What's with these old men doing attempted murder upon this one child? He's gonna come back to the US and immediately get tried for murder. I cannot even fathom that. <laughs> Doug has grown on me. All the characters have. I just can't believe how this turned out. Who wants the ball? Go out and close the door. I don't get it! I got it! Hey! He's gone! The what? Man, he's here. Why? Oh my god, this is so bad. <gasps> this kid! The amount of times Russell has almost died is like baffling to me. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of like Disney and Pixar movies. As I was saying, a lot of Disney and Pixar movies don't have so much danger involved. A lot of them are pretty, I'd say like simple and lighthearted. Checking in. Three, two, checking in. They got three, planes. Three, checking in. But this one is just like, this one kid has almost died so many times, it's crazy months built planes taught the dogs to fly the planes and then put machine guns nice so i was right about this i told him that they should like verse canes i was i was kind of there except he upgraded to a sword there really is an old man fight oh i like predicted this Come on, how are you gonna explain the old man's dead body Kevin! Oh, I don't like this one bit. Oh, this is scary. This is too scary. This is high stakes. Nice. You took his place. I need to know what, what company that garden hose is. It is so durable. This is why you don't teach dogs how to fly planes, please. Okay, I was about to say, where are the parachutes? Months. Faster. Wilderness scout. Look at how good he is. That porch has withstand. That porch has withstood so much. Hehe. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, bye, bye, old man. Bye, months. I didn't, I didn't think I'd see a, an old man fall to his death and up. More like down for him. <laughs> oh. oh, I am ready to not be up high. I'd have such a fear of heights after this. But he just realizes his house is gone. Sorry about your house, Mr. Fredrickson. It's just a house. So much character development. I love it. The babies are so cute. Where's my cane? Kevin, stop trying to eat it. You you tried this once before. You don't like it. Oh. Keep them. A little gift from me to you. And they took the blimp. What about all the dogs? Do we get to keep? Oh, we got to keep them too. And there's his newest adventure. Explorers will graduate to senior explorers. Is there someone that I'm here for him? He basically got the son that he never, or the child he never had. I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow, the Ellie Badge. This movie is such a tearjerker. Can you park your blimp here? Wow, this was a completely 
unexpected, heartwarming movie that I loved. And is the house just happened to land there? That was so good. No wonder this movie was so popular. It's so good. Look, what? <laughs> what the heck? That was really good. <sighs> So I just finished watching Pixar's Up for the very first time. I feel like it's really tough to find an animated movie that touches upon such sensitive topics nowadays. And I feel like this one did it perfectly. So I personally struggle with grief. Like I'm not good at handling loss and grief and all that stuff. As you can tell, like love old people, death, like that stuff, not good at handling it, right? And this whole movie had it all. I feel like the way they described it is like, you can think that your life is over you know you're an older individual but it can still just be a beginning of a new chapter there's no such thing as it being over until it's over you know and i feel like they described it they were so subtle with it they were so good with it throughout the whole movie and like i feel like that scene right there with the book was so good because it was really unexpected like he probably went through that book so many times or like stared at it but never really flipped through the pages he didn't even know there was more i really liked it i felt like i hated the villain, he sucked. I like that they originally introduced him in the very first scene as like this hero, how he how he was like an adventurer. And it's crazy that Carl looked up to him, right? And then he became his mortal enemy. Carl became the reason that, that he died. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I thought this was a very heartbreaking, bittersweet, just nice movie. It, it touches upon a lot of, um, very deep subject matter which again i don't find in animated films all that often anymore and i think they did it very well it was very beautifully done and and crafted and i feel like it does have layers to it and i feel like if you just continue peeling the layers back you'll you know find more and more and oh, that's all i can really say i thought it was a good movie I, I loved it um i hope you guys um enjoyed let me know if there are any parts that really stood out to you that you really enjoyed please do i love your comments thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone